Hey, what's up guys? My name is Charlie. Today we're going to be watching the Angry Video Game Nerd. This is going to be episode 61 and it's going to be CDI Part 3, Faces of Evil, Zelda's Avenger. Whew, that rolls right off the tongue, doesn't it? Alright, so here we go. Let's press play, shall we? Whatever I see, I shall devour. What the fuck? Mm. Well, that wasn't disturbing at all. He's gonna take you back to the past To play the shitty games and suck ass He'd rather have a buffalo Take a diarrhea dump in his ear He'd rather eat the rotten asshole It's time to wrap up this CDI shit fest. Let's take a look at the two remaining Zelda games. First, Link, The Faces of Evil. All the same problems I addressed in Zelda Wanna Gamelon are present here, so there's not much need to go into such detail again. It has the same style of gameplay and the same cheesy cutscenes. Do you know what it means when you lose your last ruby? Now you work for me! Take him away! You're doing great, Link. You are our hero. What Man, those fairies really like Link. <laughs> the only real difference with this game is that you play as Link, and this time you're going to rescue Zelda, so the roles have been reversed. If you watch the demo, Link tells you how to play the game. Move the controller down, and I crouch. When I'm crouching, you can make me do the duck walk. Oh my cool, God. huh? That's not cool. One difference is that you have to collect snowballs and fireballs. There's some enemies that can only be killed by either of these weapons, so it only adds more to your inventory that you have to keep up with. So, even more so than the other game, you spend half the time collecting these items and collecting rupees so that you can buy bombs, rope, and lantern oil. And to top it off, there's more weapons that drain your rupees. Could this be any more tedious? And I hate collecting rupees. Oh, come on, you can't even get two at the same wow. time? And the jumping is still a big problem. Come on, why can't I get up there? Oh, your mother. Oh, you son of a bitch. Get up there. Mm. Oh, my lord. It's time to start dropping some F-bombs. Fuck! 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 Probably the worst example is right here. I'm trying to go in the door. Seems simple, right? But I can't approach the door from any conceivable angle. If I'm below the door, I can't reach it, at least not without a rope. Too bad I had to use them all in order to get this far. <laughs> I can't approach it from the other side because the pillar is blocking me. This is the part I really don't understand. You can pass through the bottom of the pillar and you can pass through the two pillars before it, which look exactly the same. Why is it that I can't go through this one fucking part? It seems the only way I can make it is to drop down from the top, but I can't get back up there. I'm jumping everywhere. I obviously can't go back up, which is ironically the way I came, all because I missed the jump, which is hard wow. to begin with because you're so close to the ceiling. I'm also prohibited from going to the left. Whether I'm on the top or the bottom floor, there's a fucking piece of shit in the way. <laughs> so once you fall down there, you're stuck. This is a joke. They designed this part of the stage to be a trap. The only way to get out of this is to stand here and let the falling spikes kill you. If it wasn't for them, you'd have to reset the game and lose all your data. Wow. The darkness terrible. is still a huge issue. Look, my lantern oil ran out, so I can't find my way back. So I'm really up shit creek without a paddle. <laughs> and that means I'm paddling through the shit with my hands. Talking to people is still a strange ordeal. Why do you have to shove a sword up their ass? Right up their ass. Wow. You also use the sword to buy stuff. If the shop owner gets in your way, you end up talking to him. Go away, I'm trying to buy bombs. Lamp oil, rope. And here, once again, I'm trying to fight, but I keep talking to this asshole. 
go away. Oh the, my eye of <laughs> the enemies, once again, are a pain in the ass. Half of them are impossible to hit. Look at this. I'm trying to go down, but the fucking warthogs are in my way. This would be so simple if you could just jump down. Yeah. Oh my goodness, this is awful. Another nuisance is that I can't hit the Dodongos because the bombs just fly over them. If I could duck and throw the bomb, maybe I could hit them, but you can't do that because it activates the status screen. Yeah, you have to be standing to use your items. And I hate these damn snakes. Your timing has to be perfect. Uh, I hate these fucking bastards. Wow. But these gargoyle things are the worst. They take several hits to kill, and they never stop coming. <laughs> if you stay there and try to fight them off, you'll be there forever. <laughs> I'm not kidding. It makes the most sense to just try and outrun them. All right, Ganon, Join here I back, come. And I will make your face the greatest in Koridai, or else you will die. All I need is just one shot with a book. Yeah, it's a book this time. Just one hit. Ah! Wow. That doesn't count. <laughs> I still get the dramatic death scene, but I'm back outside the castle. Uh. Fuck. So I got to go all the way through the castle again. And when I get there, thankfully, Ganon's still dead. Then you got to wake Zelda. Come on. <laughs> I'm here to rescue your royal ass. Get the hell up. <laughs> wake the fuck up. Oh, I get it. I just saved you from Ganon. I won. Nothing short of poetry. Let's move on to the final piece of what's known as the Unholy Triforce. <laughs> Zelda's oh, Adventure God. was released the following year, in 1994. Unlike the other two, this one doesn't have the cartoon cutscenes. Instead, it's digitized actors. Sometimes they don't even move, they just crossfade. And so I found this champion of strength and courage. As the title would suggest, it's the only other game where you play as Zelda, going to save Link's ass once again. You have to find dungeons where in each one you collect a piece of a stone, much like pieces of the Triforce in the original Zelda game. So this one follows the classic format a little more, not to mention it's an overhead view. That means you don't have to do stupid shit like push up to jump and crouch to bring up the inventory screen. You can also touch the rupees and hearts without having to attack them. That's of course, crazy. you do have to wait for them to touch the ground, which oh. is confusing since it's overhead. Wow. It's better than the other two CDI games, but not by a whole lot. The most constant, annoying thing is waiting for the screen to load. Watch how long it takes. Uh... And you're wow. probably thinking, oh, it can't do that every time. Oh yeah, it does. <laughs> oh, the Imagine how long it takes yeah, you to get terrible. anywhere. Look at the original Zelda. Watch how quick it is. See? Yeah, and that was on an old 8-bit console. <laughs> Damn CD load time. Look at this. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> That's when you grab your beard. <laughs> the next thing that's really annoying is that somebody keeps talking to you. Zelda. Zelda, do not roam unprotected. Shut the fuck Look up. Look nearby for something to aid you. What is Zelda hearing voices in her head? Crazy bitch. Unlike other Zelda games where the dialogue is all text, this one uses real bad voice it acting. Said, those who go deep into the earth learn to overcome the sins of greed. Hey, who goes there? Aren't you letting me or my boss look? You can't come in here. Even the sound effects aren't appropriate. Why do the Vyres have humanoid grunts? What the fuck? <laughs> and what the hell is that thing? <laughs> what is Those that? Those moguns out there are so slow and stupid. You don't get very much music either. Just immerse yourself in the good old outdoors. I also find the ground very strange looking, almost like a satellite view. These would be trees, so <laughs> maybe Zelda's a giant? Oh look, we got a ladder. Remember that from the original Zelda? Remember how to use it? You just walk right across. Let's see how easy it is here. You come to a gap, you gotta go to your menu, okay. oh. select the ladder, select. and then use it. Okay. You always have to select shit. Yeah. Take this for example. In any good Zelda game, how do you buy stuff? Like this. Yeah. That's easy, right? Here, you gotta stop, bring up the menu, select the rupee, uh and there what a bunch of fuck wow. that was a wise picture young princess 
And I got to say, the menu screen sucks. <laughs> First of all, you can only hold one item. That includes the sword or wand, whatever. In the other games, you always have the sword and can select an additional item. Of course, the CDI doesn't utilize as many buttons, so whenever you need to use something, you bring up the menu screen. And the other thing that really pisses me off is that you have to scroll through the items, not by pressing left or right on the D-pad, no, by moving the cursor to the left or right arrow and painstakingly wow. clicking until you see the item you want. That is bullshit. Yeah, that is Why bullshit. Why couldn't they fit them all on the screen like the other games? And how about the map screen? In any other Zelda game, you can bring up the map with the ease of a single button. That's simple, right? Well, here, the map screen is inside the item screen. Yeah, so whenever you want to see the map, you have to bring up mm. the item screen, select the map, look at the map, what the go fuck? back to the item screen, That's a weird and map. finally back to the game. <laughs> How about getting treasure? You think you just open it and there'd be nothing more to it than that. But no, the fucking treasure chest starts talking to you. Uh. <laughs> then it spits out the treasure, and the first time I didn't even know what happened. Whatever happened to this? How about this shit? Somebody gives me an empty bottle and tells me to go fill it up at the source of the river. Why well, can't just go to any river bank? I don't know. But anyway, I go to the source, which is this fucking skull thing. I select the bottle, and then it doesn't just fill up. It mysteriously disappears from Zelda's hands and then reappears behind her to the left. What? You're never even sure what the items are going to do. I got a flute, and I was told to use it against a snake. So I use the flute, and what happens? It kills the snake, but not before freezing me, making me momentarily helpless while the snake <laughs> nearly kills me! Wow. Thanks! But one major problem I have is that the save function doesn't seem to work. If I turn off the game, it erases all the data. Uh, that sucks. Yeah, that The does overall suck. design is horrendous. You can never tell where to go. See that dark area right there? That's a cave. You're <laughs> supposed to go in there. But with all the random rock patterns, you'd think it was just part of the wall. <laughs> and when I got to this part, I thought it was a hole in the floor till I realized that it's just part of the ceiling. Wow, Rarely does that even happen, and it occurs right after the part where you need a ladder. So naturally, I thought it was a hole. <laughs> Here, I'm just trying to go to the right, but something apparently is blocking my path. What the fuck's going on? Oh shit, I'm gonna die. Get over there. I'm stuck! Ah! Ah! Fuck! Even the dungeon maps aren't consistent. See the white square? That's mm. where I am. But if I go up, it jumps me all the way up here. And it happens more than once. You just jump all over the map. Wow. In other Zelda games, there's secret passageways that transport you all around the dungeon. That makes sense. Mm. But here, when you're just walking to the next screen and suddenly appears someplace different on the map, <laughs> it's like, what the hell happened to this game? <laughs> I don't believe this. Like, I, I seriously don't believe this. That's it. That's all I can take. How could they fuck up Zelda this bad? Wow. It's not a Zelda game. I wouldn't call it that. Mm. Oh, but it is. It has Zelda and it has Link. No, it's yeah, not you know a what? Zelda that's a game. pointless argument right there. That's like if your dad says, I fucked your mom. It's like, I can't <laughs> argue with that. You know, playing these games is as worthwhile as melting a dog turd on a frying pan. Yeah, put some buffalo puke and some cat piss all over it, and you have a shit sandwich that is Zelda CDI. This game fucking sucks! Fucking sucks! Fucking sucks! Oh yeah, in the Mario game, that one sucks too! <laughs> CDI sucks! <laughs> 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 wow, that was Pause it there. Yeah, that was uh, that was a good outro. I like that when he was doing that farting noise. <laughs> that was uh, that was uh, I don't know what that was like. That was just terrible. That game was just bad. I I'm, I feel I feel exhausted watching him play that. Honestly, I just watched him play that game and I feel absolutely exhausted. Honestly, 
that game just looks so bad. I can't stand those sort of games. I cannot believe they released Zelda games like that. It's just why? Why did you have to do that? Yeah, that was uh, shockingly bad. I'm disappointed because uh, the Zelda games are actually pretty good, but they definitely do earn their spot for being the worst games on uh, the Zelda franchise, I'm guessing. But yeah, they're not Zelda games. They're definitely not Zelda games. Uh, people call them Zelda games. They are definitely not Zelda games. It's insulting to call them Zelda games because if you saw the animations, it was like, I don't know, they were like on drugs when they made the animations and all that. It was just weird. Um, so yeah, that was a very interesting episode. So if you liked this episode, uh, this video of mine, make sure to give a like and subscribe and comment down below. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. And please let the next episode be a good episode, as in a good game. Because I seriously can't take any more horrible games anymore. <laughs> Alright, peace out.